For this question, we need to first create an array with these names in. So that's the first thing that we do. We create this array and we put these names in it. Now, once we've done that, we need to ask the user to pick a name. But before that, it says we need to repeat the process until the user picks a name that is found inside the array. So what we do here is we set repeat to true, or you can put it as start equals true, doesn't matter, just create a variable and set it to true. Then we need to start our while loop. So to start the while loop, we use while repeat is equal to true. So the main reason that why I created this variable on line two is to start the while loop. It's to create a condition that starts our while loop. That we can set it to false later once we found our name. Now what we do is now we need to ask for the name. So we ask for the name. Once we've asked for the name, we need to then create an, a for loop that loops through the array. So for x in range from zero to the length of names, to the length of the array. This means it will loop from zero to how many items is inside the array. So it will loop through the whole array. Then we need to check if the items in the array, so if name x refers to if name zero, because x starts with zero, which is Ted, then it increase to if name x, then it increase x will increase to one, then it will check Aaron and so on. And it will keep increasing until the end of the array. And it will compare it with choice. So if the name if name x is equal to choice, then what we do is we need to display name found. Once we've displayed na name found, it says also display the index of that name. Now the index of that name is x because name x is going to be the array name with the index number. So x is going to be the index number when it actually finds it. Now we need to set it as a string because you cannot add a string with an integer. So we just need to cast x2 from an integer to a string. Now, finally, we need to set repeat to false inside our if statement. Now, the reason we set repeat to false is because we want to break out of the while loop. So set to repeat to false will break out of the while loop. Then we go to, uh, we remove the indentation of the if and we create another if statement after the for loop. Now, if repeat is still true, so it will, if it was never set to false, we need to print name not found and the process will repeat all over again because it will go back to the start then it will ask for a name again now if i check again so I just type random things it will say name not found if i type one of the names in there it will say name found and son is an index three which is correct because he is on index three because we start from index zero